Welcome to this video and in this tutorial let's see how to conduct adaptive bitrate streaming using Livebox. Adaptive bitrate streaming can be done in two ways that is transcoding and multi bitrate streaming. And the most recommended one of these two is transcoding since it provides Azure free streaming experience. In Livebox transcoding is available only in the higher end versions. So if a Livebox doesn't have transcoding enabled contact the Livebox team to upgrade to a box with transcoding. So now let me begin to transcode my live streaming at multiple bit rates that I prefer. So let's get started. Here on the navigation menu we have transcoding under manage channels. Before starting the transcoding you should keep ready at least two streaming channels. One as an input channel and another one as the output channel. So after setting up your both output and input channels, select your input channel here and then the output channel here. And in my case, I have created two channels that is T1 and T2 and I am selecting T1 as my input channel and T2 as my output channel. So after selecting my input and output channel, I am giving a turn on here. So once you turn on the transcoding status, you will be given option to select your preset. And if you click this drop down menu, you have different ranges of presets. So if you select a preset and set up the transcoding, your single streaming source will be encoded at multiple bit rates. For instance, if you are gonna select this preset, then your live streaming source will be encoded at all these bit rates. So after selecting the preset, I am going to click on save and now here I am getting a notification to service restart after clicking save. And also a word of caution here that enabling transcoding will consume your server CPU capacity. So to avoid server crashes, you can stop the services that are consuming your server CPU before enabling the transcoding option. So now, after giving the service restart, select your input channel and copy paste the stream URL and stream key in your encoder stream settings. And once the live streaming is started, you can go to the channel dashboard and you can check the transcoding quality on the player of your output channel. Now I have streamed a source from my encoder using the RTMP URL and stream key of my input channel. And thus on my channel dashboard, it shows live on my both input and output channels. I have encoded a video source to my input channel and it is live streaming here successfully. And then if I select my output channel, the same video source live stream here as well but with the transcoding video quality. That is multiple bit rates. And once the transcoding at multiple bit rates is successful, you can go on further by embedding the player on your blogs and websites using the embed code of your output channel. And here you'll be given transcode output URL and transcode embed code so that you can use them to embed your output channel player on your websites or blogs. And as I said before that enabling transcoding will consume your CPU capacity. So if you want to do live streaming at multiple bit rates. On the same time, if you don't want your CPU to go high, then you can also try the multi bit rate streaming as an alternative. Well, to know how to conduct the multi bit rate streaming, check in at the Livebox knowledge base site. And for more information on Livebox, visit livebox.co.n. Thanks for watching this video.